Hey guys, this video is basically just to see what you guys think of the PS4 and the Xbox One. I've always been an Xbox owner, I've owned the original Xbox and the 360 as well. Although I predominantly play PC games and do prefer them. I'm also after a decent console so I can have a mix of gaming. As I say, I've always been an Xbox owner but the new consoles have changed quite a bit and do actually worry me from some of the things they are introducing. They both have big claims and showcases from E3 but I'm undecided on which console is better at the moment. The Xbox obviously has big claims about being an all-in-one console. I don't actually like this, I think they've tried too hard. They've been ahead in the market for years now and I think they've tried too hard this time and have actually let slip on what they wanted to achieve. Just things like the Kinect. I don't want to have to control everything by the Kinect. I want to be able to unplug it and still be able to play the console. I don't want to have to stand there waving at the screen to do everything. But this is my view. PS4 are also introducing a camera. This is sold separately and it doesn't control your ca console. So I do find this a far better way of doing it. The Xbox obviously claims to be an all-in-one multimedia hub. I don't actually want to be able to do everything on my Xbox. I've got a computer, I've got a television. I don't need to be able to watch TV from my Xbox. I can just turn my TV on. I do like the fact that they're introducing Blu-ray to both consoles. This will be an advantage. Obviously, Xbox have slipped behind by the PS3 having the Blu-ray but now they're evening out the market in this field. But I do feel that the PS4 has increased some of the other things that have concerned people with the PS3. The fact that the PS4 controller is now almost the same size as the Xbox controller has pleased many people. I know myself found the PS3 controller very small and did prefer the feel of the Xbox controller. Obviously when the PS3 was launched and the Xbox, there was obviously a price difference. The PS3 was actually the more expensive console and I feel the Xbox offered a greater community as well. I felt the Xbox community was better and it's harder on PS3 to actually communicate with other people. Obviously in Xbox you had party chat and things. I feel that the PS4 has increased this market and has actually improved on its predecessor. Obviously the price is a big question for lots of people. The Xbox is coming in as the more expensive console. Obviously I live in England so the Xbox is coming in at £430 roughly. This is obviously quite a bit more expensive than the PS4 which is coming in at 350 The Xbox obviously comes with the Kinect because you have to use it for everything whereas the PS4 doesn't come with the camera this is at a separate cost of about £45 but as I say this isn't essential to the PS4 gameplay or anything this is just an added extra the games on both consoles are basically the same price they're both coming in at about £55 I believe it's obviously more expensive than the previous games on the previous consoles but I don't think people will mind as long as these games are compatible. Xbox are saying that pre-owned games might not be available. I do think this is a big, big rule out for me. I like buying pre-owned games. I don't want to pay p full price for some. I just want to test them out, see if they're worth playing, and if they're not, sell them on again. If they rule this out, I definitely will look away from the Xbox. I've always loved the Xbox, but I feel this has been a real marketing blunder if this happens. There's obviously big releases on each consoles for the launch titles, but... I'm not really being grabbed by any of them at the moment. No console's really jumping ahead because of the launch titles. I think they've both got good launch titles and there's both competition and variety. I'm undecided on which console I'll actually go for. I think I need to see a bit more, see what they're going to announce later to the release. Obviously, at the moment, PS4 is inching ahead because I feel it offers more features and is less demanding. I don't like the fact that the Xbox is controlled by Kinect. don't want to be standing there waving about like the fact that the PS4 controller is now bigger. I feel the PS4 graphics are also slightly more advanced. I want to know what you guys think. What are you opting for at the moment? Are you looking at the Xbox? Are you looking at the PS4? Or are you undecided? Please leave comments below guys and I look forward to reading them. Cheers!